everybody, this is Etho. Welcome to another episode of the Terra Firma Punk. So in the last episode, we went exploring and we found ourselves a few little chickens here. <laughs> so we brought them back home. We're trying to make friends with them so we can get their feathers and their eggs and all their goodies. And last episode, we <laughs> kind of broke the game a little bit. We used our bucket to move lava around and we made a portal to the nether and uh, just did a bunch of stuff I don't think we're really supposed to do in uh, this mod pack. <laughs> And we're going to continue to break things a little bit. I got a couple good suggestions from you guys. So Chester, we might be able to upgrade him, actually. Uh, you either have to strike him with lightning or douse him in witch water. And we weren't able to pick this up before, and now we can with the bucket. Okay, let's see if we can place this down. So we're just going to put it over here. Oh, you can. Look at that. What? Uh, this probably gives us some kind of potion effect, too, right? Oh, it's not a good one, though. Weakness 3, slowness, bleeding, blindness. <laughs> okay. I uh, shouldn't have done that. Let's throw Chester in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've never seen that before, actually. So he gets, like, all charged. Like a charged little creeper now. Charged little Chester. <laughs> so I think... Okay, it didn't delete his inventory, too. I was a little worried about that. But I think that uh, doubled his inventory, which is great. So another big question that got raised is, can we use this bucket to make a cobblestone generator now? Chester, you know, I'm going to pick you up for a second. <laughs> uh, let's put the water down here. And yeah, that made some kind of cobblestone. Uh, yeah, Minecraft cobblestone. So it's it's the normal stuff. So it does work. I'm just kind of questioning now what we're actually going to use this for, because it looks like a lot of the recipes that could use cobblestone got removed. <laughs> so we can't make a furnace. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the things we can just use the Terra Firmacraft cobbles. So, I'm not sure. I am kind of curious if it will fall with gravity. No, oh, okay, so that's kind of one useful thing about it. But, uh, anyways, let's get to doing some stuff here. So, we gotta become best of friends with the chickens here. You gotta get on their good side. You gotta get in the group. Never tell them whatever happened to Nuggets, you know? They don't need to know about that. So, I think today we might try make a better windmill. The improved windmill... Uh, take steel and these improved windmill blades, eight of them, which each require three tough fabric, and each of these requires two silk cloth. <laughs> so those are kind of pricey. Each of these is 24 string, or we could do it with nine if we have bone ne needles. And we can make those pretty easy with a chisel, okay? So basically, we need a lot of string. Now, I just saw, apparently we can make the bone crook. Oh, we got one. It does work. Okay, so now the other question is, can we infect these trees with the silkworms? Yeah, you can. Okay, that's going to be interesting. And let's infect it over here, too. So we got to wait for that to infest the leaves. It's at 4%, 5%. Once it gets to 100, it'll start spreading to the leaves next to it. And eventually, all these leaves should be infested with silkworms. Now, that's probably going to take a little while before it's ready, though. So we're going to do a mission here. We're about 2,000 blocks away from our home base. And we're going to go back into the nether today. Yeah, so the roguelike dungeon has a hole through the bedrock ceiling. So we kind of have to go through here. And then we're going to try to dig down, ideally, all the way down to lava, if we can. <laughs> a nice safe path, you know, uh, would be wonderful. Can we maybe start it here, even? Oh, I hear fire. Oh, well, we found lava. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, that's, uh, that's a one-way trip, though. Might be able to get some XP as we do this, too. This is going to take me quite a while, though, to get down, I think. <laughs> Ooh, glowstone. What? Oh, he attacked me through the blocks, I think. <laughs> okay, so we got a pretty janky tunnel here. It should work. I do have my wings on, so I think we won't take fall damage. I can fly, yeah. Okay, good. It does work in the nether as well. Uh, That's the roguelike dungeon. Oh! Oh, we got just chests all over the place here. That's the bottom layer over there. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. <laughs> Do we have the spawners? We can kind of fly around here, which is nice. We might be able to snag some easy loot, actually. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Where are the spawners? I got to be so careful here, though. I don't want to lose this stuff. Oh. Iron pants, two pairs, and some black bronze boots. This is where we get Chester. Our buddy Arpel. We're going to give him a bunch of stuff to hold. 
We're gonna get the tanks out of him. This was a great idea from you guys. I totally forgot about the tanks. Um, we should be able to just fill these up with lava and then move like a whole ton of it at once. So we just set it up by the by the lava here. We get our buckets. And yeah, look at this. So I think these hold 16 buckets worth, which will be enough for a portal. Yeah, it's our first tank full. Now let's mine it and see if we get it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, it is there. It's stacked. So we didn't get to pick it up. Yeah, check this out. There's no zombie pigmen. There's no mobs that spawn in the nether at all. It's just from the roguelike dungeon there. There's uh, some spawners that still work. Um, I think we will go in and just snag a little bit more loot. <laughs> Just real quick here, and then uh, we're gonna get out. This chest is just too easy to grab, right? Have to at least go for this one. Get that. We got a blueprint. We got. Do we care about any of this other stuff? Not really. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a spawner right there. Can we bust this? Oh, well, we're getting out. <laughs> I don't know what those are. <laughs> oh. Oh, they follow me. Why they follow me? I, I I just came to say hi, not to not to break their home. Can we fly up out of here, or do I need to pillar up? Oh, we can make it. Nice. Okay, and we're out. Yeah. So our goal here is we want to try and make a portal at our home base. That way we can link up to this portal and and travel quickly through the Nether and start making more portals as well. Uh, if we carry it one bucket at a time, though, back and forth, that's 4,000 blocks <laughs> we need to cover and make that trip, uh, what is it, 10 times? Don't really want to do that. Oh. Uh, another idea. Someone said I can actually mine obsidian. There's no way to craft it at the moment. We, we can't make a miner. So if we can create it and then mine it. That would be pretty ideal. Let's grab some water here. Because uh, then we just have to go back and forth between the nether. And get a whole bunch of obsidian in our inventory. Is it mineable? Oh, it's got the check mark. Okay, well that's that's the way we're going to do it then. Ooh, there's a chest just, just calling for me, guys. Just calling for me. A saddle. Wait, that's not that good actually oh musket charges that is good don't judge me for this everybody it's too easy obsidian off the corners <laughs> oh i feel so wrong i'm gonna try to steal these uh bookshelves as well they're pretty valuable and the lamp oh and redstone now technically this is the top layer so it's uh not that dangerous we can just hover by and just break what we can here real quick nice what's in here Oh, this backup sleeping bag. I feel like we have to try this. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> All right, that's uh, one, one easy trip. Oh, but it's dangerous here. We shouldn't really be here. This one, another chest if we want it. Oh, an emerald. I just want to snag this lava if we can get it. Yes, okay, good. Oh my goodness, that made me jump. All right, here we go. Last one. Nice. So yeah, we should have 10. We got 10. Let's head back. All right, I was heading back and I stumbled across a Naga that's like stuck on a tree and he is very close to dead. So we might try to just put this guy out of his misery because I think we were going to need to kill one of these guys eventually. And I think this is a good opportunity. Oh, he's healing very slowly, but he is healing. Oh, wow. That worked. Oh, my goodness. All right, Chester. Help me get this stuff, please. Thank you. Oh, that was great. Oh, it's looking like we might have a problem with this. Yeah, it just disappeared. Oh, it spread, though. Weird. Like, when they get around 70, 80%, they just die <laughs> and disappear. Oh, man, that's not going to work. Oh, man, look at this. I just came back uh, to feed the chickens, and we got some baby chicks in the pen. I didn't, I didn't have to do anything even. Oh, I think we, another one just spawned. We got four, or maybe I missed the one. Oh yeah, these guys got the, the white uh, border around them now, so 
We are friends. Oh, I see. So these are full of eggs. They're fertilized. Interesting. So if they're not fertilized, I think you can grab them to eat them. Uh, and I, over time, they just spawn into chicks, I guess. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that trip didn't go quite like we expected, but it worked out pretty good in the end of things. We figured it out. So now let's uh, get our portal set up. I think we're just going to put it over here. We can move it later if we want to. Might end up making like a portal obsidian farm here too if we need more. There's like a mountain troll up there. <laughs> it's making me nervous. So this should generate a new portal. Hopefully. Please, please, please. Well, we're getting some lag. A lot of lag. And a crash. Oh no. Alright guys, I had to load a backup here. That permanently crashed the game. I bricked my world. Couldn't get back into it. So, thankfully I made a backup before we started the nether uh, journey today. So just after we converted Chester. So we've jumped back in time. And we're basically starting the episode over again. But now we know we probably shouldn't be doing things in the nether. <laughs> we were kind of breaking the game a little bit doing that. And uh, it, it seems like I actually broke it that time. Okay, well, let's get back to this again. We have about two stacks of string. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Probably not, but we'll see how close we get with this. So we're going to make the bone needles again. Uh, I can use whale bones for that. Throw those in our carpenter. I load it up with water. And it's nine string each silk cloth. But yeah, check this out. I saw we can put in the sheet metal press on this thing. And then if we put the silk cloth in, there's actually a way of converting to the tough fabric. At way cheaper. So usually it takes two silk cloth. This way it only takes one. Oh, and there was a stack of string in there already. So we probably have enough. It's going to take a very long time for this to finish though. That windmill doesn't put out a lot of power. That's why we want to upgrade it. Uh, let's do a couple other things here. So we got to make a helmet, chest plate, pants, and shoes for this Flaxbeard steam power. And they all have these weird recipes. So it looks like we can turn this into a nugget. Yeah. And then we got a gauge from somewhere. I don't know where, but we have one. Brass pistons from our zombie pigment farm. Easy, easy. All right, I think that's the helmet. Yeah, headpiece. That's the pants. And the shoes. Now, I think the way these work is we put them in the advanced engineering station, this thing here, and we can probably upgrade them somehow or attach things to them. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and hand these in. What's the most valuable thing? Probably the emerald. Uh, this one, we're going to go for the steam gauge. Let's see here. Ooh, a piston or an ender pearl. Probably the piston. Yeah. And then galvanized iron. Cool. So let's see what happens when we put these in here. If we can. Oh, yeah, something came up. Okay. Two slots here, three things here. No idea. <laughs> Is this count as one of them? No. Oh, wait a minute. Steam jetpack, steam wings, power fist. Oh, there might be some cool stuff here. Thrusters. Okay, so I think this is, yeah, the steam jetpack. We made that. Now let's see if we can put that in the chest plate, I would assume. Right? To go in here. Oh, it might go in there. Now if we take it out, then it's installed. Yeah, so I think if we charge that up with steam, we might be able to fly around. Okay, and then there's these different armor pieces. Lead one is probably the best, I would assume, but uh, this one's really cheap to make. It says zero out of zero SU, so I'm guessing this cube might be for a steam tank. Yeah. Now it has 180,000. I'm not sure how it connects. Oh, from the bottom. Okay, so now we throw this in here. Yeah, and it's filling up. Great. Okay, I'm going to load in some more fuel to this thing. We got a little bit of steam in there, but it's draining it from the tank. Like if I try to fly now, this is what happens. I just kind of jump like a... Like a goofball here. <laughs> uh, but if we switch it here, we might be able to fly higher with this thing. Yeah, oh, wow. These are pretty good. Now, the question is, we'd probably take fall damage, right? Yes, okay. So there is something called fall assist, but then we'd have to switch out our boots. Oh, we have feather falling. Man, we still took a ton of damage from that. Oh, snappers, this does not look right. I think it's a smart moving mod, maybe, that messes up the alignment of the stuff. We're supposed to be, like, right right around there, I think, is about perfect. Uh, a couple things happened here. I got killed by Hightower again. So we we lost all our stuff, all our XP. This got reset. Uh, but also, I made a bunch of enhancements for the suit. Oh, it does drain uh, the steam constantly, it looks like. 
Um, each piece we put on seems to increase our speed. You see how the camera like gets zoomed zoomed out a bit more every time. So when it's we're fully maxed out here, we can actually move pretty fast. I think this is at least speed two movement, which is awesome for our terraforma craft because you got to explore in this uh, mod pack so much. Uh, the jetpack is really good. Unfortunately, the power though drains fairly quickly. And let's try out the fall assist. Okay, you still take damage. <laughs> Uh, all right. Good thing we didn't go any higher there. So check this out. Another thing I figured out is depending on what type of plate you put in affects uh, what type of protection you get. So it says fire protection with the brass plate. I tried out a copper one and that gives you blast protection. Uh -huh -huh. So I also made some steam wings, but we can't seem to put those on with the jetpack. We It's either either. Oh man, look at this. We can uh, climb up blocks too. We don't have to jump. Whoa, yeah, that's pretty fast. Ooh, I like this thing. Oh man, so I've been doing some research on this exosuit and it is actually incredible. Uh, so many cool things with it. Uh, unfortunately, some of the really cool things got disabled in this mod pack. <laughs> Apparently there was a way to trade with wolves and ocelots if you put some frequency thing in this helmet, but it's uncraftable, um, doesn't exist. But yeah, you like give them bones as currency and then you can buy like iron and, and coal with them. Kind of like villager trading. <laughs> and then uh, if you trade with them a few times, apparently they turn hostile at you. And uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of weird stuff like that. So the gold plate gives you extra experience when you kill things, 25% more. So I think if we add it to all four, we might be getting like an absolute ton of experience now. There are better tanks than the steam tanks. So... You go like this, we go for the brass sheets, and bam, we get a reinforced exosuit tank. I think it's like double the size or something. You gotta put a brass block in the middle. Yeah, so this is the, the big daddy-o. Uh, let's see how much of a difference that makes. So this is 180,000. With this one, it goes up to 720, so it's way bigger. Uh, Extendo Fist increases our range by two blocks. I'm a monster. Although it seems to cause problems. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to work really. Yeah, no extendo fist. Now, as great as this suit is, it is definitely hard to charge it up. So we got to work on that maybe. Uh, apparently there is a better boiler we can make if we get eight of these flash boilers. So I went and I mined some basalt just now. We're going to make boilers. Nope, oh, we're going to put these in. Okay. How many do we need? I think we need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Then you go to that. We have enough. Oh, we only got to six. What's missing? We're missing more plates. So let's take these, smash them down. I guess we're going to have to try to find more pipes because we have used up our stash on this now. Okay, put these back. One, two. Okay, we had enough. Great. So according to what I saw on the website, it is a two by two by two. And game crash. Uh-huh, the big boiler was just a little too much for the game to handle, I guess. But uh, thankfully, this time we didn't uh, get permanently stuck. <laughs> so now we're going to make an infinite source here, and we can load it up with water. We're, we'll want to set it, this up as automatic as we can as well. Uh, yeah, this holds a ton of stuff now. Look at that. Tons of steam, tons of water. We'll throw in some wood here. We want to try to set up an Archimedes screw so that it'll automatically pump in water. I don't know where it needs to go, though. Okay, then let's put a pipe here, I think, will work. This on top. I think we're going to put a hopper onto this, and then we'll feed it some kind of fuel, like charcoal, maybe. We'll put a big drawer above that. That'll auto-feed it the fuel. Now we just need the water. And I got a pipe hooked up to this Archimedes screw. This is supposed to pump stuff but it's not working, which I don't know why. <laughs> uh, this definitely has steam in the pipe here, and it should be going down into this to make it run, but it's not picking up the water. I don't, I don't understand. Whew. All right, we got it figured out. I guess it doesn't work with Minecraft water. It's got to be the Terra Firmacraft water in this mod pack. So now it's spinning away. This is filling up with water from the Archimedes screw, and then that gets burnt, made into steam, and then that powers this from the steam pipe here, and also...
This might be the time we end our the episode. <laughs> what happened? Oh, that sucks, man. We got it working and everything, and then it's just like... <laughs> so I guess uh, it must have a pressure limit. You know, I, I read the website, the wiki page on it, and it's like, it didn't, it didn't say anything about that that I saw. So that would have been a nice mention. <laughs> Uh, let's get our windmill going here if we can, and then we'll probably wrap it up. Uh, what do we need? We need beeswax. Get some beeswax going here. There we go. Yeah, so we need six more of these blades. We had two, I think, from uh, some quests, I guess. And it's taking a little bit of time once again, so let's do another few quests here while we wait. Uh, grappling hook stuff. There's three different ones here. Uh, our jute we manufactured into jute fiber, so we take that and we can get rope. I think we need a little bit more than that. I think 12 should do it. So we take these. We make this kind of rope. Ropes plus. Looks like we might be able to convert this this way. This is terra firma craft iron. We need regular Minecraft iron. There we go. Yeah, that worked. Okay, good. So then uh, we take one of these. Two of these. We get the, the Kung Fu grappling hook. There it is. We got it. That gets us the hook shot. And then we take a piece of gunpowder and some paper. Get a hook shot cartridge. Okay. What does this do? Does it do anything? Oh, it does something. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. And now we're getting pulled in. <laughs> oh, this is weird with the jetpack. Cool. Well, we got these three done here. So let's go for maybe iron. Ah, uh, gunpowder for sure. TNT and a reward bag. Okay, let's go here. Okay, cool. This finished. So the final step now is to take a piece of steel and these eight blades. Wrap them around. And there we go. Improved windmill. Oh, yeah. We're going to take these three plates and turn them into a iron barrel. And then we need some blaze rods here. I think we still got a few of them left. Yeah, we got to convert two of these into blaze powder. Take this. Wrap it around and and blaze barrel. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but we need it to craft it. We'll get a new blaze rod. And that is our first chain completely done in the book. Incredible. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be able to remake the flash boiler again. I just need to get some more basalt, but we have everything else we need there. So I'll do that after we end the episode. And let's check this out. It is finished. So we're going to replace the old windmill here with the new one. Get rid of that one. And bam. Please turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that thing is uh, cruising. Okay, let's pick up the wooden one, though. Don't want to lose it. And, uh, yeah, I think that's probably where we're going to end this episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. We had a few setbacks. A little bit of a <laughs> strange episode. Some uh, uh, trouble. But we did figure out some cool stuff as well. And I think I'm going to finish this off by crashing our game for the final time here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.